So now you've got the basics of flying on instruments. Now we need to get back on the ground. The most common landing aid is the Instrument Landing System, or ILS for short. An ILS uses two directional radio signals, one for lateral guidance called a localizer, and the other for vertical guidance called the glide slope. The localizer provides lateral guidance, which directs you onto the runway centerline. The glide slope provides the intended descent angle onto the runway. The localizer is displayed with the CDI, much like in the VOR lesson. Keep flying on a heading of 210 at 1,500 feet, and we'll watch for the localizer to come alive. The localizer is moving now. Make a gentle turn to the right, intercepting the localizer and keeping the CDI in the middle. Good. Now keep the localizer bar centered and maintain 1,500 feet. The glide slope is displayed next to the altimeter on your PFD. If the green glide slope diamond is above center, you are below the glide path. We always start out below the glide slope as we want to intercept the localizer first. We'll wait for the glide slope to start moving. Here comes the glide slope. Maintain 1,500 feet until it almost reaches the center. Here it comes. Now reduce power a little and start to descend using the VSI to aim for 500 feet per minute. Keep both the localizer and glide slope indication centered all the way down to the ground. Reduce speed and set flaps as needed as you make your way down the ILS. Approaching the runway. This approach has an offset, meaning that the localizer and runway aren't lined up together exactly. Focus on following the ILS for now. We'll transition to a visual landing once we're closer to touchdown. Make only small corrections and remember that each will be more critical as we approach touchdown.
time to transition from flying on instruments to using visual cues to complete the landing. Get us down onto the runway and then come to a smooth stop. Six dot DLG underscore outro underscore grade underscore A.